very good at getting here on time, are they? They like to be in the bar at 7 o'clock, <laughs> I think. Uh, just not bothered about the knock-up. I think it's intros. because it's cold outside, yeah. uh, Simon. <laughs> yeah. it's those liquid refreshments just seem to take the edge off the Get the old beer jacket on. Yeah. Quality rally here. No, that's a good finish from Rosno. He was patient. The German. Good length. Five, four. He set it up nicely, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. brilliant. <laughs> Speaking of precision, Simon, that was right <laughs> on cue. Watch Six, the control four. again. Look how Wilstrop gets so low for yeah. somebody of six foot four in height. Yeah, it was great, uh, great balance there from Wilstrop as well as the dexterity. Rosner for me is doing a great job of hunting that ball across around that middle area. So unless James is clinging the ball so close to that side wall, he's being picked off right on yeah, cue there. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and uh, he's doing it to perfection Nine, really, seven. causing a lot of problems for Wilstrop. Again, really good pressure from German number one. He's got it. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. too good, though. 11-9, game to Rosner. Didn't panic Rosner under pressure there, Simon Rosner. He's missed he it completely. Missed it. It's got to play. He's nowhere near. <laughs> I think he yeah. <laughs> he, <th> <laughs> he read it, but he, but that, he went I really wide past his racket. No, the ball had gone. I think yeah. he was so bemused where he saw it. Not actually hit the ball. Well, it was it was good and anticipation from five. Rosner, but also good awareness from Wilstrop. He knew exactly where <laughs> Rosner was. Two very big pairs of feet there, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> The word boats comes, comes to mind. I know we're Skies. by the harbour well, here. Look at that for a finish. <laughs> it's trademark of Wilstrop. The ball slightly Nine wide more. off the back wall, but the finish again. Well, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. That's quality oh, finish. Oh. Wilstrop <laughs> struggling to reach some of these finishes from Rosner, but and just down. one too many. Well, he turned it round Nine actually, but didn't ball. he? Because Rosner was, uh, uh, well, Wilstrop was in control of that rally. Rosner was having to uh, retrieve. Big point here for Rosner. Two love lead for the German is. It's a pretty uh, impressive lead, isn't it? It's a long way back from there. Well, it's better than one all, isn't it? <laughs> <It's just> Absolutely. <laughs> well, it depends who <laughs> who you are, really. But yeah, it's good pressure again. It's another oh. error. It's a second error on game ball for Wilstrop. Handing that Rosner second to the German. To love. That's quality. Just look how low this ball stays off the racket of Wilstrop. He takes it quite high in the three. air, Wilstrop, but it stays so short. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just perfect, wasn't it? Yep. Good shot out there. It's not actually be a, a little bit, a little bit lucky. Taking his space there. He was a little bit lucky because the, the quality of the shot, as you see here that from Wilstrop, it's, it's down the middle, but he just can't quite reach it. I think Rosner's a little bit frustrated with Wilstrop there because he, he felt he was not clearing enough. Again, this is brilliant movement from Rosner. Brilliant. Again, it's the forehand volley of Wilstrup, punishing length across the middle. Immaculate finish from the Englishman. Rosner leads two games to one. That's brilliant. All set up there from well, it's the second counter drop that ended up winning the point, but the damage was done down the back left hand corner again. Rosner forced deep. There's the first drop, catches Rosner off balance, but there's the finish. From Wilstrop gets himself ready for the for the next one, which in this case will be a fifth. That's a great shot. Well, he's just going to go for it, isn't he? Obviously, Wilstrop 
well aware of the situation, but he does still need to keep on his metal. Down. 10-2. I mean, it's ball. one thing to go for it, but these are actually making the barely making the middle of the tin. So quality fourth game, game from Wilson. James Wilstrop. I think Rosner looking for a new ball. I mean, Rosner had actually anticipated and, and read this backhand off. volley drop from Wilstrop, but it was it's too good. <laughs> yeah, just too good. Some severe hitting from Rosner. Oh, my oh, goodness gracious me. Unbelievable pick up there. Well, Rosner thinks it was down, but I'm, no, I'm it's pretty sure good. it's good. No, it's yeah. well, it's uh, Seven, well above five the tin. Left side. A good two to three millimetres above the tin. <laughs> <laughs> well above. Oh, perfection. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that was aggress aggression there from Four Wilstrop. Side again on the volley from James Wilstrop. Stayed very and short. It's kind of a strange Lemon bounce, really. Two points. I think Rosner could do with getting it a bit more on this forehand side there. Oh, wow. 12-10, match to Wilstrop. Three games to two. 9-11, 9-11, 11-9-11, 2-12-10. What well, an unbelievable start to this evening squash here, the NetSuite Open 2016. 80 minutes in duration. It's James Wilstrop, the wild card for this year's event, overcoming Simon Rosner, the number six seed of Germany, three games to two. 9 11, 9 11, 11 9, 11 2, 12 10.